What is up everybody, Garden State Aviation here back with another video. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at this Gemini Jets Lufthansa A350-900. Without further ado, let's get started. Before taking a look at the model, we have to take a look at the box. So this is uh, one of Gemini Jets' Lufthansa boxes. So of course it is in this silver paint scheme. Uh, I don't know why Gemini Jets does this with their Lufthansa boxes, but they have this silver that goes all the way around the box. But uh, as you guys know, this is pretty much a generic Gemini Jets box besides the uh, inverted uh, colors. Uh, you have gray, you have, not gray, you have like a silverish background. And then you have, of course, the Gemini Jets logo, clip out of the aircraft, Airbus AT5900, the registration of the aircraft, Lufthansa logo, and you have the flap and the uh, information on the flap. And yeah, that was the information on the flap. And then it's just normal Gemini Jets packaging. And then on the side, you just have the Gemini Jets logo. Uh, basically why you should get a Gemini Jets model, clip art, type of aircraft registration, Gemini Jets logo. On the front, you have the barcode, adult collectible model, Gemini Jets. And of course, on the sides, it's the same thing as on the other side. And then of course, on the back, uh, it shows uh, the clip art of the aircraft, which is, I'm guessing it's supposed to be taking off. And then on the back, it transitions from the silver color to a dark blue. Of course, this is licensed by uh, Lufthansa. And of course, this is a 2020 Gemini Jets release. Now, the reason why I decided to get this model in the first place is due to the fact that Lufthansa do fly their A350-900 to Newark. Uh, I actually did fly on this exact model uh, back in August of this year, so August 2021. I'll link that video up right now. I'll link it in a card up there. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much why I got the model. Well, actually, I got it before, but I didn't know until the day that I was flying that this was gonna be the aircraft that I was flying on. So I actually did fly on this aircraft, but uh, yeah, now let's get on to the detail segment. Starting off with the detail segment, for this model, we have the cockpit windows, which is an Airbus's black bandit colors i guess that's what it's called the black around the cockpit windows we have the lufthansa logo forward landing gear and on the landing gear doors is xn which is the last two letters of this aircraft's registration x-ray november continuing down the aircraft we have the star Alliance logo l1 door and we have this uh yellow slash orange rectangle that is supposed to uh represent uh the fact that this aircraft is equipped with lufthansa's fly fly Continuing down the aircraft, we have the uh, Lufthansa logo in their uh, new paint scheme, Airbus A350-900. We have the word Göttingen, which is the name of the city that this aircraft is named after. Continuing down the aircraft, we have the L2 door, the fly fly advertisement. We have an antenna on the top, and we have the wings with no emergency exits. Continuing down the aircraft, we have the L3 door, another antenna the Wi-Fi hub slash HUD, and of course the registration of the aircraft, which is Delta Alpha India X-ray November, D-A-I-X-N, the German flag, the L-4 door, and of course uh, the tail of the aircraft in Lufthansa's new paint scheme. And on the wings, I don't know if you guys can see this, but on the wings you have uh, Lufthansa's logo in their black new paint scheme. Now, before we take a look at the bottom of the aircraft, let's take a look at the wings. Now, of course, because this is a Gemini Jets model and they have a known storied problem with this, the wings on this model aren't level. Uh, I'll put... Sorry, we had some technical difficulties. Anyways, continuing with what I was saying, the wings on this model aren't level, as you guys can see. And of course, there is fan blades inside the engines of this model. Now, the weird thing about uh, the engines on this A350 is the fact that on one side of the model, uh, here, I'll put it like this so you guys can see better. On one side of the model, uh, the engine is going up, and on the other, the engine is like going like really really up yeah that's a problem that Gemini Jets has and I don't really like that about their A350 molds but you guys should stay tuned for the comparison that I have coming anyways continuing to the bottom of the aircraft on the bottom of the aircraft uh, you have the forward landing gear which there is nothing special there uh, you have the uh, back landing gear which actually moves and uh, here here's a better view here you guys go 
the the landing gear actually moves up and down, which is which I'm guessing is supposed to mimic the takeoff and landing. But it's a very loose design, and I wasn't just playing with it too much, otherwise the landing gear uh, will become broken. But uh, yeah, that being said, that does conclude the detail segment for this wonderful Jemai Jets model. To be honest, if I knew that NG Models was going to release the Lufthansa A350 900s, I probably would have gone for those instead of the Gemini one. But at the time, this was my best option that I had, so I decided to go for this one instead. But uh, yeah, that being said, let's conclude this video. If you guys like the video, please like, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell, switch my videos, and comment down below what you guys think of this review and what I should improve in my videos. Once again, thank you guys for watching this video, and I'll see you guys in the next video. As always, goodbye.